Here's the quickest unholy DK guide for Cataclysm. You have runes, which is essentially just a shared charge system for your abilities. Scourge Strike, for example, uses one unholy rune, while Festering Strike uses one blood and one frost rune. Some of your abilities, like Festering Strike and Blood Tap, turn some of your runes into purple death runes that'll allow them to be used as if they're a blood, frost, or unholy rune. Using a rune gives you 10 runic power, which you'll build up for your filler abilities, utility, and for summon gargoyle, which lasts for only 30 seconds, but is a massive chunk of your overall damage. This is your talent building glyphs, and you'll always put Rune of the Fallen Crusader on your two-hander. For single target DPS, let's quickly go over the basic idea of Unholy. It's real simple when you put it like this. Ignoring your cooldowns for a second and after your diseases are up, anytime you have a Blood or Frost rune available, use Festering Strike. Any other available runes get used on Death and Decay and Scourge Strike. That right there is all you need to remember if things get crazy. Now let's talk about the opener. Make sure you're in Unholy Presence, your Ghoul is out, and precast Horn of Winter. Cast Outbreak to get your Frost Fever and Blood Plague diseases up. Drop Death and Decay. Cast Festering Strike twice, which extends your diseases and turns your Frost and Blood Runes into Death Runes. Then spam Scourge Strike with any leftover runes to get Runic Power and spend that Runic Power on Death Coils. Each Death Coil gives your Ghoul a stack of the Shadow Infusion buff. When your Ghoul gets to 5 stacks of Shadow Infusion, cast Dark Transformation. Getting Dark Transformation on your pet as often as possible is a massive part of your DPS. Just keep in mind that you can't gain Shadow Infusion stacks while Dark Transformation is active, so you want to pull your Runic Power right before it ends to give you a head start on the next Dark Transformation. After Dark Transformation, you need to pull 60 Runic Power, then cast Unholy Frenzy and any other damage modifiers right into Summon Gargoyle. Then cast Empower Rune Weapon to refresh all of your runes and give you a big chunk of Runic Power finished the opener. After all that, you go into your base rotation, which is just maintaining your diseases with Outbreak if it's available, or Icy Touch and Plague Strike if it's not. Drop Death and Decay on cooldown, Festering Strike when you have one Blood or one Frost Rune available, and since it uses two runes, it's okay to use one Death Rune on it, but never use two and use Scourge Strike on any other runes. Death Coil if you get a free proc from this talent or if you're going to overcap on Runic Power, and use Dark Transformation when your pet is at 5 stacks of the buff. For AoE, you got two options. First, just do your single target rotation, spread your diseases with Pestilence, and instead of using Scourge Strike on purple death runes, you'd use Blood Boil on 4 plus targets. The second option, which is more complicated for barely any more damage, replaces Festering Strike with Blood Boils and Icy Touch, and a bunch of other funky stuff that you can find in the guide in the description. Now let's quickly go over some other important abilities. Blood Tap resets and turns one of your blood runes into a purple death rune and is usually saved to make sure you always have a rune for dark transformation. Army of the Dead summons a bunch of ghouls to fight for you and should typically be cast about 8 seconds before the pull. Unholy Frenzy is a 20% haste that can be cast on anyone, but why would you not cast it on yourself? I have no idea. Raise Ally is a combat res, Anti-Magic Shell is a huge magic damage reduction, Icebound Fortitude reduces all damage taken by 20%. You have two interrupts, Mind Freeze and Strangulate. Necrotic Strike reduces the target's healing received and slows their casting speed by 30%. And Death Grip pulls enemies to you and is objectively the best ability in the game. I've added a link in the description to a more in-depth guide and some weak ores to help out if you're interested, but that's the Unholy Death Knight. Let me know what class I should do next and subscribe for more classic guides.